I have done a couple of videos on some restaurants and one that I did on Popeyes I really didn't emphasize something that I really want to say in this video to Chick-fil-A directly I did one yesterday and accidentally erased it and I just I feel like this has to be said on YouTube because if Chick-fil-A ever sees this video and I'm saying high enough in their company that maybe they'll really really consider changing the policies that they have about um, being held accountable in that restaurant as far as the management team who might be a franchisee or whoever owns that property. Chick-fil-A as a company today is not what it started off to be. Truett Caffey who started the company was a Christian man and he started his business of all places in malls because it was probably the easiest and cheapest way to start franchises everywhere and when he died not too long ago I I, I can tell all, this, all of you that he um, his values died with him because even though his two sons operate Chick-fil-a now that attitude that Truett Caffey began about being closed Sundays customer service is a number one also died too now it isn't to say that Chick-fil-A will be open on Sundays. Personally, if you're not going to stand to the values that your founder created, then you should not uphold anything that he upheld to. And I make direct reference with my own experience as a customer at a Chick-fil-A in Fayetteville, Georgia. And I'm mentioning them by name because I filed a complaint with Chick-fil-A's corporate office in Atlanta. And this is the attitude and the answer I got from the from the uh, corporate people at customer service. Number one, every restaurant's independently owned. And this means whatever attitudes that you saw in the restaurant are only up to the manager to decide that Chick-fil-A as an organization does not say that they have to uphold certain standards, even though they say they do, and that I should have at least tried to bring the problems to the manager's attention. Well, the manager was there when it was happening, so who else can you tell except his higher superior, uh, and that's Chick-fil-A's corporate office. And this woman, who was black, answered and said, well, you know, there's nothing we can do because he operates that restaurant, and we don't have any say-so of what he does other than to say to you as a customer, either bring it to his attention or go somewhere else. And so I have not returned to Chick-fil-A again since. Now, customer service is something that Truett Cafe always pushed. He always really, really went crazy on making sure that you were valued as a customer when you went in there. One of the things as a customer that I've always resented was the fact that they are very discriminatory towards certain age groups because if you go into any Chick-fil-A in the United States, you're going to see one particular candidate who is always at the register, who is always in the back cooking, and that's either high school or pre-college students who work there. Now, kids are great to have in any place because, number one, they need experience. But when a manager snubs his nose at a customer like he did me, and says, uh, we don't really care about anything but your money because once we have it in our hands, that's all that matters to us now. We don't care about anything else. And then that attitude is shown to those so-called fresh minds who are actually getting this experience. They're going to carry it over to every other job they go to. That they don't, You don't care about the customer, so they're not going to care wherever else they might work. My experience at Chick-fil-A in Fayetteville is this. I went into the restaurant, I made an order, I paid for it, I went back to the table to wait for them to call my name, and I waited 20 minutes, and I never heard anything. Every customer that had come in after I did had already gotten their orders, they were at their, at their tables. So I went up to the cash register and I showed them my receipt, and I said, um, you know, I've been waiting 20 minutes, why didn't I get my order? The snotty cashier said to me, well, we're only human, you know, 
And so, anyway, she went back and got the order. But it was only because I had come up there and said to her that this really is not what anybody expects when they come to Chick-fil-A, that you're supposed to be treated like, like a human being, you're supposed to be respected. And I saw, in every aspect, favoritism. Some customers were treated fairly, if not better, because they were repeat customers. But you see, you cannot do that with everybody. You cannot just say, well, certain customers deserve more respect or more service than someone else just because they come there more, more repetitively than someone else. Everybody should be the same. That's how Chick-fil-A should look at people, but they didn't. And uh, the thing that I remember was while I was sitting there waiting for the food for this 20-minute duration, there was a group of blacks that came in and they were sitting there, they'd already gotten their food, and they're sitting there laughing in my direction. So I knew they were laughing because they knew that I was not a repetitive customer, and therefore you were probably going to be waiting there for 30 minutes or more. And it almost became that, except for the fact that I went up there and I told the cashier that I hadn't got my order. And the whole time when I'm sitting here talking to this cashier, the manager of the restaurant was standing maybe not even a couple of yard or a couple of feet from her anyway. He didn't apologize for the inconvenience. He didn't say squat. He just simply walked away and that was it. So Chick-fil-A is not a Christian organization. Yes, Truett Cafe uh, started it. Yes, most of the customers that come to Chick-fil-A are Christian because they are the ones that are so admirably, or admirably, um, in other words, they respect Chick-fil-A only because of the fact that they honor the Sabbath day. And I think what Truett Cafe started was a very good idea, but I don't see where he can now that he's died, that his sons can say the same thing about customer service. Because when a manager of a restaurant can do that, and then you report it to their higher corporate people, and they don't care, and they don't say that they want to do anything, then the next stage of this is to ask yourself, are they really what they claim they are? And I think with what I saw in the restaurant, that... Um, they cater to certain people. Most restaurants do give discounts to civil servants. They do not give discounts to anybody else. I don't see where, because somebody puts their life on the line as a civil servant, should it be any different than somebody who, let's say, works at a, um, a convenience store. Those guys are in a life and death situation every single time a customer comes in. Why? Because somebody can pull a gun out and blow you away and you really have no defense. So why doesn't Chick-fil-A say, you know, we got to give respect to other people, just not the civil servants people. Other people put their lives on the line, but they don't do that. For a very long time, I didn't go to Chick-fil-A because of that, because I thought this is discrimination. You know, they get a discount only because they wear a badge or because they wear a uniform. And yet so many other people in the private sector who are not civil servants, who aren't special in any other way except that they work for a place where their lives are on the line too. But Chick-fil-A looks the other way. They say, who cares, you know? You're not a civil servant. I'll give you another secret. You know why they give discounts to civil servants? Because they make a lot of money. And they want people to come back who make a lot of money. And what does that say? Chick-fil-A isn't Christian because all they're looking for is that almighty dollar. They don't care about what it's about, which is customer service, respect for each other or for the customer who comes in. And none of that exists. I only will say one more thing about Chick-fil-A, and that is that... Um, I tried to apply for a job there once before, and what I saw in their pamphlet, in their booklets, everything, it made me feel really good about the company. That I didn't get the job, but what I'm saying is when you go in as a customer now, and you think, 
they're telling the employees one thing when they're going in for orientation, but then when you see them in action and you see the kind of attitude they take in the restaurants, you think it's totally the different thing. It's the total opposite. The company prides itself on Chewett Caffey's uh, ingenuity with uh, manufacturing and, and, and processing chicken sandwiches to the masses and his Christian background, but then when you see it in action, now that he has died, it, something's been lost. Something has died just beyond just Truett Cathy himself. And if Chick-fil-A is watching this video and y'all don't care anymore about customer service to the point where I saw it in action in your restaurant, don't do yourself a favor by trying to continue something that Truett Cathy started as a Christian because he held up to his end of the bargain and now that he's died his sons are probably not even in control of, of, of Chick-fil-A it's probably operated by a board of directors and what y'all should do is say we don't want people to think that we are Christian and you should stop being closed on Sundays you should just stay open every day of the week I mean that would be the most uh, realistic thing you could say to a customer is don't hold in your viewpoint that we're here to help people because of what our founder had really been um, projecting to uh, to the customers. Another thing that has proved indirectly what is Chick-fil-A's real foundations is uh, gays were picketing and uh, rioting a couple of years back, if you remember, because they don't hire homosexuals. They do not hire gay applicants. And if I'm not mistaken, they caved in to that too. They said we cannot say that we aren't allowed to, to hire people on the basis of uh, our own religious beliefs. And so they hired gays. So a perception is one thing, and I think what Chewett Caffey wanted for Chick-fil-A in the beginning was to uphold certain standards and they were very good and now that he has died I think the company is going 360 degrees back to what it was not to begin with and that is that uh, it's all about the almighty dollar it's all about how can we push ourselves in the public eye that we can offer you high quality food a candy coated customer service experience which means that on the deep inside of this equation they don't care about you and then still create a facade that they are holding up to the same standards that Truett Cafe started and that's a lie because they're not and when I went into that restaurant it only confirmed what I already knew about Chick-fil-A that when he died, so did everything else that he valued as the founder of that company. And his two sons might still very likely be Christian, as Truett Caffey was, but I don't see any indication from my experience at that restaurant that that's true, because they would never, ever let a customer say to... Um, a manager of a store a problem and the manager sticks his nose up and walks away or acts like it didn't happen and then when you go to the corporate office people they say exactly the same thing I don't think that's what you at Caffey ever intended it to be and you know what if if Fayetteville is no different from any of the other restaurants the dwarf houses everything then that means that I'm wasting my time and my money to go to any of the other restaurants thinking that they're going to be any better than that one experience or that one restaurant because it means they all have the ultimate say of what happens in those restaurants and nobody else higher up in Chick-fil-A can say anything other than that. So in completion of this video I say don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge Chick-fil-A on the attitudes that they project on their advertising. Look at it from within the company. When you walk in that restaurant and you ask yourself, are they really being fair to me or are they just trying to get my money and kick my butt out the door? So thank you for allowing me to share this today.